inadvertently means without intention, accidentally or by oversight. It also means mistakenly, carelessly, unintentionally, unavarious, unknowingly or unwittingly. Inadvertently, not advertently. Advertently means in a careful, deliberate manner or heedfully. The chauffeur who was driving the car inadvertently took a turn by being mistaken onto the one-way street for going opposite direction led to an appalling accident. Dissonance means opposite of harmony, lack of harmony or agreement generally between the opinions and actions. Dissonance, disturbing resonance, opposite of consonance, consonance means agreement or compatibility between opinions and actions. That is, the resonance is disturbing and cacophonous due to the lack of harmony, congruity and agreement with respect to a designed and organized arrangement. Dissonance also means discord, disparity, discrepancy, cacophony, grating, incongruity, inharmoniousness, disagreement or dissension. Composer Charles often used dissonance, lacking of harmony, clashing or unresolved chords for special effects in his musical works. Max has just lied about the incident and he is saying that liars are not good in nature. There is a complex deal of dissonance between what a liar says and does. Incongruity means lack of harmony or it also means discord, inharmoniousness, absurdity, discrepancy, disparity or incompatibility. Incongruity, not incongruity, that is not congruous or harmonious. The incongruity of their using a microscope for watching the mammoth and using eyes to observe the microbes on its body surprised the scientists. Inchoate means recently begun or elementary. Inchoate, in introductory to commons and in inaugurate. Inchoate also means basic, rudimentary, fundamental or incipient. Caterpillar is an inchoate stage of metamorphosis to be a butterfly where the metamorphosis is a process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages. Before the creation, the building was an inchoate structure. Digression means wandering away from the subject or a temporary departure from the main subject. Digression, diversion from going to a straight progression. That is departure or deviation from the subject or issue considered. Digression also means detour, deviation, diversion, departure, deflection, or excursion. Professor Adams' lectures wa wandered away from their official theme, and his digressions from the theme always represented comical cartoons. During the time, he was appointed to teach scientific calculations. Implicit means understood but not stated. Implicit, importantly understood and tacitly concerned about it. That is, here tacit means not put into words. So implicit, importantly understood and tacit. Implicit also means indirect, undeclared, unspoken, unexpressed, unstated or tacit. The two friends never need to state subtle remarks 
to work together. They believed their understanding was implicit in their deeds. They believed that radical realization is more important than stereotypical statements. Emulate means match or surpass a person or achievement or typically by imitation. Emulate, inviolably imitate. Emulate also means follow, imitate, copy, reproduce, mirror or echo. Mr. Red is a person everyone admires and he is someone whose virtues the people would like to emulate following each of his steps of life. Impassive means not feeling or showing emotion. Refusing to let the enemy see how deeply sh shaken he was by his capture, the prisoner kept his face impassive. Impassive, impaired of passion to live. Impaired means weakened or damaged of passion to live. Impassive also means expressionless, unexpressive, inex inexpressive, dispassionate, unemotional, emotionless, stony or unsentimental. Phlegmatic means of a person having an unemotional and stolidly calm disposition are not easily disturbed or calm. Phlegmatic philosophy of being unemotionally pragmatic. Phlegmatic also means affectless, apathetic, impassive, emotionless or stolid. While Harry is always sanguine and optimistic or positive, Henry is choleric and so bad tempered to any kind of issue and Hardy is negative about life and so melancholic pessimistic in nature with pensive sadness. Harper is having an unemotional and calm disposition by being an emotionless and phlegmatic person who cannot easily be disturbed with respect to the temperaments. So here four types of temperaments are presented sanguine, choleric, melancholic and phlegmatic. Propitiate means win or regain the favor by doing something that pleases them or appease. Propitiate also means placate mollify, pacify, conciliate, or soothe. Propitiate, program to pacify and satiate. The mother is trying to propitiate her melancholic daughter for regaining the favor and going for the trip by talking to her with affection and love. Magnanimity means generosity. Or the fact or condition of being magnanimous. It also means charity, benevolence, humanity, nobility, philanthropy, altruism, or munificence. Magnanimity, magnanimous humanity. Mother Teresa is the model for the virtue of magnanimity. He shunned fame and lived amongst the poorest of the poor. He gave herself solely for the benefit of alleviating hunger, poverty, and suffering from the society and the world. Reproach means to express disapproval or disappointment in actions. Reproach, reject to approach, that is reject someone to approach or step onward by expressing disapproval in their actions or in his actions. Reproach also means rebuke, reprove, despise, deplore, or denounce. The boy never could do anything wrong without Im 
imagining how the look on his teacher's face would reproach him afterwards. Stint means be, th be thrifty or set limits or be very economical or mean about spending or providing something. Stint is strictly provident. Stint. It also means scream, skimp, economizer, retrench. Simon, wa Simon is wise enough to set a limit by stinting his auxiliary expenses with a view to saving money for the higher education in near future. Morose means ill-humored, melancholic, or sullen. It also means sulky, surly, gloomy, pessimistic, lugubrious, unsmiling, dejected, despondent, somber, or bad-tempered. Morose, melancholic and choleric temper arose. Bill acted morose by being pessimistic and sad about the facts of life, which triggered him as bad-tempered fellow to his friends and family. Pervasive means spread throughout pervasive penetrating and expansive expensive pervasive penetrating and expansive uh, mean, that is which is expanding so penetrating means able to make a way through or into something and expansive means covering a wide area in terms of space or scope Pervasive also means prevalent, penetrating, ubiquitous, or omnipresent. A new generation of wi wirelessly connected, software-driven, and cloud-delivered network technologies have arrived that can help enterprises transform their wide area networks to provide pervasive, penetrating, and elastic connectivity spreading throughout the world. The smoky and burned smell of barbecue chicken was so pervasive spreading throughout the house and lawn that Mike that Mickey had to follow his nose. Repudiate means to refuse to accept or reject. Repudiate, reject to validate. It also means disown, disavow, renounce, recant, forswear or abjure. On giving the result of acceptance, the CEO of the consultancy firm called Mr. called up on Mr. Eric Edison and repudiated his proposal, saying a big no to his proposed idea. Grandiloquent means pompous or extravagant in language, style, or manner, using high sound language. Grandiloquent, grand means large or excessive or extravagant. Uh, and eloquence means fluent or persu persuasive in speaking or writing. So grandiloquent, grand eloquence. When the eloquence is grand, it may be pompous or extravagant in language, style, or manner. Grandiloquent also means magniloquent, bombastic, pretentious, orotant, pontifical. The politician could never speak simply. He was always grandiloquent, even in a family party. He could not leave the chance to talking on politics. Ostentatious means characterized by pretentious or showy display, or designed to impress or trying to attract attention. Ostentatious. Oliver was stunning to get attention from us. Ostentatious. Ostentatious also means showy, pretentious, conspicuous, gaudy, or garish. Michael's idea to decorate their Christmas tree with money attached to every single branch was 
ostentatious and it was designed in such showy display only to attract the attention of the guests. Embellish means to make something more attractive by the addition of decorative details or features. It also means adorn, ornament, enhance, decorate, emblazon, beautify, or furnish, or garnish, or varnish. Embellish. Emblaze means to cause, to glow. Embellish means emblaze and republish. That is, to cause to glow for decorating and adorning to enhance the beauty making more attractive to represent and republish Peter Parker was appointed in the chamber of his boss with a view to nurturing the young plants regularly so that the bonsais could be embellished with healthy and decorative enhancement story application of the learned vocabs composer kenil jordan often inadvertently used dissonance clashing or unresolved chords for special effects in his musical works firstly the incongruity of this special effects was inchoate because he had several more notes to be added. His digressions from the classical compositions were sometimes more fascinating than the classical ones. The vibe of the music was so strong that it significance, its significance was implicit only in the sounds and tunes Jordan composed. In a brief he was a musician who was admired by all and whose works would like to be emulated with firm enthusiasm by his contemporaries. Even some of his masterpieces could touch the impassive state of phlegmatic people, propitiating them by means of eternal emotions. Noted for his magnanimity, Ken Jordan donated millions to the charity which had been earned by some of the best concerts of his career. He helped the people of the charity when the authority reproached to stint on raising the fund. One of his best compositions was a dirge, which was first webbed in the funeral of Robert William. Not surprisingly, his funeral was a morose event in where the musical wave of Jordan was pervasive enough to spread throughout the world of memory, leaving all the guests in tears. No one could repudiate the intensity of his inborn affinity to the unique notes. The penultimate concert of him was arranged in a grandiloquent manner at the most ostentatious premise of the city most ostentatious premise of the city in where the mayor awarded him a guitar which was embellished by a designer reflecting the best rhythm of jordan electrically acknowledgement source of photographs presented thanks for watching read realize resonate reflect do not forget to like subscribe and share thanking you from my study notebook